guys welcome back to inside the cellar studio I'm Rebecca this is John it is still really weird to only shoot a video every other week uh, but it's actually kind of nice on the off weeks when we don't have to get up and shoot a video um, plans changed a little bit with football season for the boy which started yesterday and they have a new coach um, luckily his schedule is afternoon. I think the earliest he plays is like 12.05. So we still get to go to garage sales. Um, that would be really rough if it was in the morning and I had to go to garage sales by myself because John has such FOMO. He would never allow it. Terrible. I have terrible FOMO. Terrible. You, you would make me record everything and then like constantly be like, why didn't you pick that up? Why didn't you look at that? Why didn't you pick that up? Yeah. So we're really happy the way things are working out. It seems to be nice, and we're happy for that. Um, we did have a big church garage sale that we went to yesterday, and we recorded the whole thing. I got overwhelmed. I, I do that, though, with big sales. Like, I just don't know where to go, what to look at, what to do. I was so excited. I picked up a big box full of Warhammer novels. Um, if you've watched previous videos, you know that we love our Warhammer stuff. We don't play Warhammer, but we sell it because it always sells for a lot. And the last time we bought the guides for Warhammer, it paid for a brand new computer plus some. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. Condition isn't the greatest, and so we'll get knocked down on price for that. But they're still really expensive, and some people are asking a ton for these books. Like $136. Um, a lot of them are over a hundred. I didn't price them over a hundred because again, condition does not warrant that. Um, what was your favorite pick of yesterday? I Mine was the books and of course on Instagram we've been trying to post our favorite find of the week at garage sales and since I make the posts, mine was Warhammer. <laughs> um, we picked up a couple of thermal printers. Um, <laughs> not like shipping labels but like receipt paper uh, printers. One of them is for sure new open box, everything's still sealed inside, and the other one is probably used a couple times, but new, which isn't possible, but it, everything's still wrapped up, but it's not 100% um, wrapped up, so I'm going to sell it as used, but they were um, in really good shape. Still in their boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Original boxes. Everything. So um, they'll sell really quickly. We sold a dymo last week in without cords or in anything. 20 minutes i think and that's just because i let a couple offers come in before i accepted the high one yeah um but yeah i saw those from across the way and you'll see in the video that i take off running to get to them as quick as possible because it is it's it's over it is overwhelming but there's so many different areas to go to it's all outside um you'll see in the video um but it's a it's a really good garage sale. Like, they take some stuff out on tables, but then there's boxes and totes underneath that mm -hmm. it's just, you know, dig for it, see what you want to find. And then and there's, like, an outdoor furniture area where we actually picked up quite a bit of stuff. Mm -hmm. They have a clothing area that we didn't even really go through. No. I kind of gave an overview of the shoes, even picked up a pair because I thought... Did you pick up the on clouds and then see that they were torn on the toe? No, I picked up oh. what I thought were Alan Edmond dress boots. Oh. But they turned out to be Stafford. Oh, it tricked me. <laughs> I'm just not feeling clothing right now. Like, I know we have a huge pile of clothing, like, back here. And I'm just... <laughs> it's huge. And I know we need to. We have some winter coats. We have sweatshirts. Hoodies. Oh, we also have, just... on the other side of this uh, computer monitor right here, there's three totes. And I think two of them are full of clothing also. Clothing's just not that exciting. Everybody buys it, everybody picks it up, and everybody waits till the last minute to list it. And it's perfectly fine. Yeah. It sells year round, sells better, you know, when it's in season, mm -hmm. and we have plenty of season to go. And we go through phases where we do, like, only mm -hmm. want to list clothing. We're and just we'll not in And we'll knock out 10 right to 15, now. 20 a week, and then the next couple of weeks we won't do anything. Yeah. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. For us. It's just, yeah, it works for us. We just get piles. Mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is mostly you doing listings right now. Um, summer slowdown. I know a lot of people have talked about the summer slowdown as we're like two weeks away from starting fourth quarter. 
I don't really feel that we're in a slowdown. I don't know. I like we'll go a day, maybe two without sales, and then we have all these sales back to back to back to back. So it evens out and it doesn't it's not slow. I think the easiest way to end summer slowdown is to add new fall product. Mm -hmm. And what I mean is items that you pick up in the fall right now at garage sales. That you're excited you about. Are you know finishing like for us we're finishing the last little bit of spring garage sale stuff so it's kind of getting stale we're running out of stuff quality stuff you, you list all that first and then um, fall ramps it back up and that's the easiest way to get out of the summer slowdown and really get ramped up going into fourth quarter mm -hmm. and I think having a diverse store too like it helps us that's what works for us is we mm -hmm. just have completely random things like we I don't, I don't even know how to We have everything. It. We can niche down, niche yeah. down, however you want to say that word. Uh, we can. We can go all the way 100% into video games, but it's not that much fun because there's so many people around this area that do that. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't enjoy stepping over $100 books to buy a bunch of Just Dance Wii games, which is literally what I did yesterday. I've got a stack of games like right here. And it's just just dance stuff, Michael Jackson, um, Dance Dance Revolution. I bought them because they're clean. While she's over here looking at Warhammer books, just giggling. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I know. He's like, this video game box is right here, and I'm like, I skipped right over it. Yep. Like, <laughs> so you know, it's just, it's just, it's better to be diverse than just on one item. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We try to keep it as random as possible because you never know what someone's going to be purchasing yeah you don't and selling on ebay we sell worldwide like mm -hmm. we literally sell to everyone and we and sold to a lot of countries crazy and you definitely don't want to be afraid of selling to new buyers as well when you have good quality items we did have an item last weekend that we picked up that we listed and we got an offer from a brand new buyer and at first, there's always that second where you're like, ooh, why? Why are they, like, is this a scam? Because it was a really expensive item. They made an offer of $125, which I, I feel like anything over $100 is an expensive item to sell online. And they were brand new. They just created their account that day. And then we just had to think, like, this is a really rare item. It was a rare CD that we were selling. Um, Hanson we did post it on our Instagram and they probably have been looking for it you're not finding it they don't pop up on eBay very often and they wanted to buy it so they created an account it was automatic payment easy peasy yep shipped it out that day and mm -hmm. I actually it's probably delivered by now yeah we picked up sure. a couple of CDs that were rare and hard to find um, and of course you can't find them on the app it was a garage sale. It was a garage sale. That we had just taken the camera off of because <laughs> it was like really low battery. And it was hot outside. It was like, it was the last garage sale of the day. Yeah, I can't believe those CDs were still there. They were two giant stacks. If you walked up, you would, you would not be impressed. Mm -mm. It was a lot of like O-Town, NSYNC, Lindsey Sterling, um, the Jonas Brothers. And then there was just one Hanson CD in the middle. And then there was Nicholas Jonas, which is Nick Jonas. It was his very first CD, his solo one that he put out. I don't know. He's probably seven, eight. Yeah. He looked like a baby on that cover. And we sold that one too. We also listed that one for 50. And it sold, mm -hmm. it didn't sell immediately, but it sold within 12 hours. Yeah. And uh, no offer, paid full price. And we bought two CDs for a dollar and sold them both for 175 combined. Which so is crazy. And of course, we're looking at them, and the eBay app does not go very far back in sales. Correct. I don't know how far back it goes. They're uh, uh, 90 days. 90 days. That's all. So we couldn't find them. Um, but then we went home. John looked it up on the uh, desktop version of eBay, which allows you to search back further, and you can see that they're just not listed very. Mm -mm. Often in the last couple of years. The, the Nicholas so Jonas rare. had, I think, one listing in the last three years. And then the Hanson had one in the last 90 days. And then two in the last three years, I think is what it was. 
Um, so they're just, they don't exist. They're super rare. Which is really funny that we picked up a Hanson CD because earlier that morning you were like, we should look for Hansonopoly. Did you know that it oh, sells yeah. for a lot? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, if it's going to be in any area in the United States, it's going to be here. That's in what the everybody Tulsa thinks. Area. That's what everybody thinks. And that's why everybody thinks those CDs just <laughs> are everywhere around here. And They're not. I've seen but... three in 20 years, so I'm knowing to look for it. But it's exciting that we did find one. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after we had talked about it. Sure. I wish we could always just like talk things into existence. Like mm -hmm. in the morning, say what we're going to look for and then just bam, find it. <laughs> that, would that would be, be awesome. <laughs> Garage selling would become a lot easier for everybody. It would be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Um, next week, or well, I guess in two weeks, when we do our stats, we're also going to start a two-part series of things mm -hmm. to be on the lookout for, and it is going to be all things blow molds. Um, we are going to showcase some of the blow molds that we have, but there are these plastic holiday decorations that you often find at garage sales. You see them buy them they always sell online um, and some of them sell for a lot of money and they're really not that difficult to ship um, you just have to make sure you have the right size box and packing peanuts and that's really all we do to ship them make sure we have plenty of room around them in the box with the packing peanuts and we did start buying our packing peanuts at office depot office max uh, I don't know which one we have here. Office Depot. Are they the same thing? Probably. Um, because UPS Store did stop yeah. selling packing peanuts, which is so dumb. But I think you can also buy on Amazon. But it was cheaper to buy online and then go pick it up than pick them up in store. And it comes in like a huge trash bag. So as long as you pick up a blow mold, which we'll go in greater detail when we do do this. Um, as long as it's in good shape. I mean, you can pick them up with broken feet or broken neck, broken arms. You'll see them all the time like that. Um, I would stay away from those. Um, I don't like selling projects no matter what it is. And a project blow mold sounds a lot harder, especially to ship when it's fragile like that. Mm -hmm. So we always try to make sure they're as good as they possibly can be. And most people think, oh, everybody knows about blow molds. They're always 30, 40, $50. They're not. Mm -hmm. um, we have picked up We'll show you in the next coming videos, but we picked up a giant blow mold for five dollars. Mm -hmm. It was crazy, and it was at a flea market. Mm -hmm. It was not a garage sale. We picked up, uh, we picked up a pair. We call them the boys. Um, we picked those up at a garage sale. They were two dollars each. Dollar each. Dollar each. Two dollars for the pair. Um, we absolutely love them. So. Just because everybody, quote unquote, is looking for blow molds does not mean um, everybody Absolutely. truly is looking for blow molds. Yeah, and some people just don't price them high at their garage sales. They don't value them. Uh, we do. And they make so. a lot of modern ones now. Mm -hmm. They um, do. Those don't do as well as the originals or the vintage ones. We do have some modern ones mm -hmm. um, because that's the style we like. We like the um, blow mold itself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we're going to do a... I guess it's a two-part series. We're probably going to do Bolo, one. one Halloween, one Christmas. There we go. And we're going to get them out in the next couple weeks. So um, Everyone can see how ridiculous we are when it comes to our blow molds. Yeah, we do have a large collection. Um, we have sold blow molds yeah. also. Mm -hmm. um, we sold a huge nativity set that we purchased at an auction. Mm -hmm. um, and it went really well. We had no broken pieces. And we pieced them out too. As long as you <laughs> pack them well, um, there are notorious other resellers on YouTube that have mentioned many a times that they just bubble wrap them and throw them in a poly bag. It drives me nuts. Just send them to me, not like that, and I'll do the work for you. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what's coming up in the next couple weeks. We have a garage sale video coming out on this coming Wednesday. Um, it will not be the church sale. I believe that will be the following week. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're gonna jump right into fourth quarter yeah we're we're getting very, really we're busy excited. we've got a lot of stuff happening in the fall and uh we look forward to bringing everyone along mm -hmm. but do check out our instagram every weekend we are posting our find of the week at garage sales i'm really trying to be better about it i really am maybe we'll start other things posting other things too but for sure every saturday <laughs> that's all i can commit <laughs> yeah so okay. thanks for tuning in we'll see you guys in a couple weeks Bye.